Welcome to the first episode of News of 2016. Yeah, we are back and in action for a full year of greetings. This week's show is all about electronics. Pia, did you get any electronics for Christmas? Yeah, I got myself an Xbox One. Cool. That might be useful for this week's show. Hello, and welcome to FSM News. I'm Pierre Howe. And I'm Lloyd Wilkes. Today's show is all about technology and how it's changed over the years. I really don't recognize any changes in technology. Where have you been? Under a rock? Here's Brian Jones with the news package on the advancement of technology. With the advancement of technology, there has been benefits, but also hinders to the way society lives. Um, one, it has made it a little bit more convenient. So if we think of technology in terms of like email and things like that, before then the only communication you had was like landline phones or what we call pigeon mail, which would take about a week or so or a couple, like four to five days for a person to receive whatever message you wanted to give them. Now um, with a quick text message or like a emergency alert if there is some type of lockdown, some type of emergency or anything like that, you can get to people much faster um, before danger occurs. And you can also, um, with one touch of a button, if you have to reach a group of people to meet up somewhere or to find, you know, if somebody got lost in a crowd at like the Taste of Chicago or amusement parks or something like that, it's much easier for people to convene together. Um, I despise technology um, just because I am a person that would prefer to interact with actual people rather than machines. Um, I'm totally uncomfortable with going to the grocery store and not being serviced by a person, having to ask all of my questions to um, a machine instead of a person. I don't like automated uh, services on the phone because I have real questions that the operator, um, an automated operator cannot answer. Um, and it's just impersonal. Um, I, I'm a, a physical touch person. I wanna, I'd rather hug someone than to send them a text. While some people think that technology is bringing us closer together, it is secretly driving us apart. Uh, the internet has be, um, been evolving. So um, ever since then, like even today, like social media has become a really popular thing. And um, as the internet and technology in general becomes more advanced, I think people will uh, have more connections with each other, whether that's in person or not in person. So yeah. It causes a little bit of a barrier because now people don't have to talk to each other as much like physically talk to each other as much to build on those communication skills and everybody can hide behind a screen so you never really always know who you're talking to. The advancement of technology has shaped society into a place where people can use technology as a source for everyday life. Reporting from FSM News, I'm Brian Jones. Wow, I didn't know technology has changed that much over time. Yeah, phones especially have been updated. Yeah, and all these iPhone 6 and stuff are coming out. Yeah, they're really not that important to be honest. Do you think you need phones to be successful? I think so, but others may not. Here's how I remember with the news package from the necessity of phones. People nowadays allow phones to control their everyday lives. Are they really that important? Sometimes you may need to stay connected with those that could lead you to success. So I believe a phone could be that type of use. At the end of the day, everyone is their own person, and the phone is not, it doesn't dictate your future. About two, every two minutes. Wow. To check uh, college emails and some of my personal email, emails too. About two, every two minutes um, to check my personal sites and emails. Some people have been put in serious situations because of their phone. When I didn't have my phone, I couldn't contact people or like I had an emergency, but I couldn't call nobody, let them know what happened, like stuff like that. People now spend more time on their phones and laptops than sleeping. And I stay up till about two, three, maybe even four or five, maybe even eight, just on social media, talking to people, playing games, things of that sort. Until midnight, uh, or was it one? No, it was one over the summer, always, every day. It's interesting to know what other people's opinions are. Especially when it comes to technology and entertainment. Yeah, have you noticed that kids' shows aren't the same as they used to be? Yeah, here's Reese Johnson with the impact of television on kids. 
Television has a positive and negative impact on children's lives. Too much television could be bad for uh, some kids if they are not uh, utilizing educational programs. So much technology has increased where you don't have that much uh, supervision over what these shows bring, what they're educating, and possibly what's the long term. I think parents should let kids watch TV because they, because if, how would they get rewarded for doing their homework? Parents should have locks on channels for children because they can watch stuff that's too mature for them. Kids shouldn't be watching just anything because it could be too inappropriate for them. Some parents uh, should have uh, more parental locks on some uh, television programs because there is a lot of nudity. nudity. Television can have a positive impact on children through educational programs, and it can also have a negative impact on children through the violence. As television affects kids because they, they learn about different cultures and different things. Bad Girls Club, no, but like, like PBS Kids, you can learn from that stuff. Sometimes it, it goes positive and sometimes it's not because sometimes all they want to do is watch TV and other times it keeps kids out of trouble if they just at home watching TV. I really love Empire, but a lot of the things that they actually um, progress as far as sexuality, drugs, um, only narrowing down one artistic goal of individual minds. Those are some shows that I know for a fact that I don't like. Even though television can be negative, some children do not copy what they see on TV, which means what happens on television stays on television. Some kids might not know what to repeat. Some kids might be. It depends on like the age difference. They're seeing it as it's approved. So if I'm watching it, I'm imitating exactly what the television is doing. So I only imitate what I do, what I see, and what I hear. I think children would put the remote down and watch, read a book for their well-beings. Reporting for FSM News, I'm Reese Johnson. It's weird that TV shows have decided to fall off on teaching kids the good things they should know. Back when I was young, I remember that TV shows used to teach you how to read and do math. The sad part is that that's not the only impact people with technology. Many people are in car accidents because of being distracted, being on their phone and texting while driving. Let's show you this PSA on texting and driving. I'll take some more. All right, I got this. More than 3,000 teens die each year caused by texting and driving. Our society needs to raise awareness for responsible use of electronics. Get an Uber if you can't resist. That is why you shouldn't use your phone while driving. It's not that serious about a text. Put your phone away. Have you seen this spotter video? Excuse me, miss. Can you please get off your phone? We, we got an anchor to do. Why are you so addicted to your phone? I don't know why I am, but here's a did you know about people like me who are addicted to their electronics. The majority of teens and younger children spend as much as 75% of their working lives staring into some sort of screen. I feel like people in my age group are addicted to technology because some people just can't live without it. Well, some teenagers can't just live without it because they're on it every day. Because it's a more advanced way to get educated. We ask students to take a technology quiz and here are the results. After taking the technology quiz, we ask students do they think they're addicted to technology? No, because I can survive without one. Yes, because I stay on my phone 24-7. Facebook and Instagram. According to the quiz, two out of six students are addicted to technology. Do you feel like you're addicted to technology? Today, I've learned that phones can truly distract people, and TV shows are becoming more silly and not very informative nowadays. But there have been many advancements in technology, and there are still good TV shows that are teaching kids the correct things they need to know. Well, that's our show for today. Check us out next time on Can't Channel 19. 
But if you can't wait to watch us there, viewers can also check us on Facebook. Just search FSM News. And don't forget, you can also find us on ABC 7's website in the community section. Three, two, one. one. That's, That's a wrap. wrap. Here's Reese Johnson on the impact of kids. Impact on kids and TV. Here's Reese Johnson on the impact on kids and television. Here's Reese Johnson on the impact of kids and television. No. Here's Reese. Here's Reese Johnson with the impact on. Here's Reese Johnson of the impact on television and kids. Take 22. Yeah. I thought she all. Oh. Here's Reese Johnson with the impact of kids in television. That, Wrong. That was Here, Ariel. <laughs> and so we'll sync it up when you guys edit it. But uh, what you want to do is you want to press the record button, hold that, press it twice when, it's, when the numbers start going to record. And she says, camera uh, Reporting for FSM News, I'm Reese Johnson. <laughs> hey, what we doing? <laughs> Did I say that right? Action. Television can have a positive impact on children and uh, through, through educational programs and it can also... Uh, what I say? In that young interview. Look at my boy. That young interview. <laughs> my boy. Free Spirit Media cultivates diverse youth voices to transform media and society.